Karen Eckel here, and today I'm going to give you an appetizer. Like my apron? You can get it at an online store. Check it out. Get yourself one. All right, you got one of these Briggs and Scrattons with this twist on gas cap, and it doesn't really hold on there very tight. See how loose and sloppy that is, and it probably leaks. Well, they don't sell just that O-ring. You have to buy the whole gas cap. So, you got a few options here, what you can do. This is a Viton O-ring. You can take it off, go to the hardware store, and maybe they got a new one this size or one that's a little fatter. Or, go to Harbor Freight Tools where they got assortments for pretty inexpensive and who doesn't need an O-ring for their pressure washer, their lawnmower, and they got a bunch of assortments that aren't real expensive. They got the Viton one and they also have this HNVR O-ring kit which is like for air conditioning and stuff. These are even better. 205 piece kit. So you can put, get a new O-ring. Now I got me an old, this is an old Harbor Freight kit. And this one takes what's called an R25. It's the same size as this one. And you see it's got these little slots in there so you can kind of measure them. So this one's a little thicker and heavier than this one. Okay, this one slips in there, and this one fits in there tight. So I can put this one on there. This is a night night trial one, which will work, and it fits tighter. Or I got this other set, this other metric set, and the one that's close to this Viton one here is this size, 32 millimeter inside diameter by three millimeter thick. Or like I said, your hardware store will have that. Another option is, let me get this one off, is to double them off and make it tighter yet. So you can keep the original one on there and you can get another one from the hardware store and stick it on the back side of it like this. So now you got two. Now I know what you're thinking. Terrell, Terrell isn't that going to affect the venting of it? Isn't that going to affect the venting of the gas cap? Doesn't it vent through there? No, the vents are right there. See those two holes? Those are the vents. So don't panic. So now with it doubled up, now it really fits tight. Oh yeah, and another thing I want to mention. Look at this. This is stupid. They always put that picture of the gas pump and the E85 on there. You know how many people think you're supposed to put E85 in it? These symbols are dumb. People don't realize that it's hard to cipher these, these symbols a lot of times. We've had people come in and put E85 and I go, no, it's a circle with a slash through it, but you gotta look real close. And they're like, oh, I thought I had to put E85. I oh, was some kind of hybrid, no. Same with them choke symbols and that reverse mo symbols and the releasing the hydraulic pump. Just write it on there so people can read it. Instead of putting these symbols nobody understands. You know how many people come in and they go, can you disconnect that reverse mo switch? And I go, you got a switch right on the dash right there. See that little picture of the tractor with the arrow behind it? That you turn the key to that position and you can mow in reverse without the blades kicking off. You know, and another thing a lot of people always like, how did you how did you keep that lawnmower running with uh, 
when you got off of it. I go, you put the parking brake on. Put the parking brake on, you can get off of it. Oh, well, I never knew that, yeah. A lot of stuff people don't know about their lawnmower. You know why? Because they don't read the manual. Or they may have bought it second hand and they didn't get a manual with it, so they don't know. So, you know, I can't fault them for that. But there's your little appetizer on fixing your leaky gas cap. But I know a lot of you probably thought, yeah, I wish I would've known that earlier, Terrell. My gas cap, it was loose and it fell off and I ran it over with the lawnmower and then I had to go buy a new one. Yeah, we get that a lot too. Where they're buying a new gas cap because it fell off and they ran it over. So, subscribe to this YouTube channel, Terrell Fixes All. This is me on the apron and this is me under the apron. Even the cameraman's wearing a Terrell shirt. <laughs> Follow me with your leaky gas caps on Facebook and Instagram. Go to our web store where you can buy this apron. You can cook in it, you can work in it, you can cook and work in it, you can sleep in it, you can do whatever you want with it. Fold it up, use it as a pillow, I don't care. And as always, there's your dinner. Woo! It wasn't actually a dinner, it was an appetizer, what you eat before the dinner.